Hello, this is Brianna from SeasonBottle.com. Today I will be preparing a vanilla bean panna cotta. Panna cotta is a traditional Italian dessert and it's something that's really going to be easy to make and serve at dinner parties. The first thing that you will need is um, a cup of cold milk. If you remember making jello as a child, this is very reminiscent of making jello, so it's really easy and simple. Um, you need one pack of unflavored gelatin packet as well. We're going to pour it on top of the cold whole milk and let it sit for at least like five minutes. I'm going to flavor my panna cotta with this vanilla bean. Um, if you can't find vanilla beans, I got this one from the farmer's market. You can also use vanilla bean extract. Um, the way that you actually get it out is you split it down the middle and then you use the back of your knife to scrape the vanilla bean seeds that are inside it. That's where all the flavor is. Add two cups of heavy whipping cream, which I'm gonna add the vanilla bean seeds that I just scraped out to that. And I'm also gonna add a half a cup of white sugar for sweetness. I brought my heavy whipping cream to a boil. It took like probably five to eight minutes to do that. Once it comes to a boil, turn it off immediately. If you see any kind of foam or anything at the top, you can always use a strainer to strain off any kind of extra skim from the heavy whipping cream. And then we're going to add, I'm going to turn off the heat, and I'm going to add my gelatin um, mixture to the heavy whipping cream. The panna cotta will take uh, probably about four hours to set. So you want to put it in whatever serving glass. So I actually have some cocktail glasses and a wine glass that I want to put my, um, have it set in. And then I put it in this pitcher to make it for easy pouring into my serving dishes. Wrap the panna cotta with saran wrap and place in the refrigerator to chill. I'm going to top the panna cotta with some fresh fruit. I already cut up some strawberries and I have uh, blueberries and blackberries in here. To pull out the sweetness from all of the berries, I have a lime, which I'm gonna squeeze and get fresh lime juice out of it and add uh, about two tablespoons of sugar. The panna cotta has chilled for about a couple of hours while I've been gone. Um, at the minimum, you need probably about like four to eight hours maybe, or even overnight. And my fruit have created like a pretty, pretty color of juice to go with it. So I'm just going to top it and I'll have it ready for dinner later on tonight. Mm. For more easy recipes like this, visit my blog seasoningbottle.com. Thank you for joining me.